Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you how to play MIDI chords with one key in Reaper. Now, if you're like me, you want to put down keyboard parts or synths, but you may not be a great keyboard player. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create chords just by playing one key on your MIDI keyboard. So let's start off by making a new track. I'll name it Synth. Let's give it a color. We'll set up the input to a USB MIDI keyboard right here. Turn on input monitoring and put it into record. Then I'll put a Synth on this track. I save my synths as effects chains. So I can just right click right here, go to my effects chain, choose my synth in a folder, and my favorite preset is right here. And it sounds like this. And like I said, I want to play chords like this. But just hitting one key on my keyboard. And we could do that with a plugin. But I don't want to put that plugin on the track effects, which are right over here where the synth is. I'm going to use the input effects instead. That's a good place to put any plugin, like MIDI plugins, where you want to record them on the way in, instead of on playback on the track effects over here. So I'll click this, the input effects. I'm going to search MIDI. There's a plugin right here called MIDI Chord in Key. Let's choose that. And this plugin will allow us to play one key and it'll play back a full chord. So right now it's set up in the key of C with two intervals that are going to play back along with the original key I actually play. So if I play a C on the MIDI keyboard, I get a C chord. And to see this visually, let's add an extra keyboard that'll show us what we're hearing. So if I play the C on my keyboard down here, we see a C chord over here, or three notes being played instead of one. So down here is what I'm playing, and up here is what's happening. So with one key, I'm playing a full chord, and we're playing it in the key of C with the intervals chosen right here. So it defaults to up two and up four. So if I turn this off and play a C, it sounds like that. But going up two steps, plays an E, and four steps, plays a G. So what we're hearing is C, E, and G. So I turn this back on, hit one key, we hear all three, which is the upper third and the upper fifth. But we could change it over here. We could bring this one down and it'll sound like this. We could bring this one up and it'll sound like this. If we bring it up to plus six, we'll get a seventh chord. Let's put it back to plus two and plus four, which is more of a normal major chord. And right now we're playing in the key of C. So all the chords that will play back will be in that key. So if I play C, it'll be a major chord. But if I play an A, it'll be a minor. And with a G or an F, they'll also be major. But if I play the E or the D, they'll be minor, which makes sense for the key of C. As we're playing notes in this scale, we want each chord to be in key. But if we want to play in D, 
Just switch it right here. And we can play in the key of D. In any other key, we choose. But if you notice, we can't choose a minor key. So if we choose C, we're in C major. But if you want to switch it to minor, just go up three steps. So for C, we go up to D sharp, and now we're in C minor. But if you want to keep it simple, just leave it in C and play in A minor. But if you really want C minor, but you want to play in A minor, because then you could use all the white keys. We could just transpose it afterwards. So let's add a transpose plugin to the input effects. We'll search transpose and just choose it right here. Make sure we put it after the chording key effect. And now we can keep this in the key of C, but transpose it over here. So if I bring it up three semitones, we're going to hear back the key of C minor while playing an A minor. See right here? It's a C chord or a C minor chord. But down over here, I'm playing an A. So I could very easily just play the white keys. And we could switch it to any key we want. Let's bring it up. Plus seven. Let's bring this down to minus one. And now if we play in A minor, we're going to hear it back in G sharp minor. See right here? It's a G sharp minor chord. And if you're like me, that's a fairly difficult key to play in. And we're doing it all by just hitting one key on our MIDI keyboard and just playing the white keys. So let's record a part and see what happens. And just like that, we recorded chords with just one key. And they're playing in G-sharp minor. But we can make the rhythm more complicated just by playing it that way. So we can play a fast rhythm. And it's a lot easier to play those complicated chords with just one key. Pretty simple. Now, if you don't want to play the rhythm manually, we can do it automatically. Let's clear this. Let's go back to our plugins and let's search MIDI and let's add the plugin MIDI Note Repeater and put this at the end after the chording key, after transposing. This way we can repeat our notes. And the MIDI Note Repeater looks like this. So if I just hold down one key, we get multiple notes. Again, with a complicated chord, G sharp minor, or any chord we choose, just by holding down one key. And we can make this more interesting 
by hitting upbeats along with the downbeats, like this. Or we could change this up right in the plugin. Let's change this to 1.5, which will create a dotted feel. Again, just holding down one key. Or we could change it to play twice as fast. Or we could change it to play a triplet. Or twice as fast to play this. Or we can keep it straight by cutting it in half or 0.5. which gives us eighth notes. We'll cut it in half again to get 16th notes. But again, we can change up that rhythm to create some custom rhythms like this. Pretty interesting and also quite complicated, as we did it by holding down just one key, got a G sharp minor chord progression, and quite a complicated rhythm. I don't know about you, but I know I couldn't play that. So, anyway, that's playing MIDI chords with just one key in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.